Now let's go to Brent Musburger for coverage of Court 16. All right, Pat, thank you very much. Claudia Cody Kilsch of West Germany in the far court hey. is serving for this match against Manuela Maleva of Bulgaria. The winner will take on Chris Everett Lloyd. And Barry McKay, bring us up to date on this. It is 30-15. Claudia Cody Kilsch was up, Brent, 5-2. She lost a couple games, but she is two points away now from winning out here on Court 16. Claudia beat Martina back in 1985 at the Canadian Championships. Good first serve. Well, I'm going to Keep that ball in play all day long if you let her. Kills has been staying back a lot today. Normally, she's a serve and volley player. On the net. Probably you're not too happy with that shot. And the old Dakota Kilsch reached the semifinals of the French Open, beat Hannah back in 1985. This nice shot comes in. Good volley. That's what she should have been doing, Brent. Actually, she was playing serve and volley up until 5 2 in the third set, then suddenly stayed back. And against Maleva, this is Manuela Maleva. She beat Chrissy back at the clay courts in Indianapolis, 1984, but it's now match point for Kota Kills. Oh, double fault on match point. And I've noticed one thing out here, her second serve getting very shaky. Not much spin. And sometimes, Brent, Claudia will throw the ball up on the toss. Doesn't like the toss. She'll let it drop and start all over again. Let's see what happens on this toss. Ooh. It's wide. So Manuela Maleva is very unhappy with that shot. Maleva. She is nervous right now. Whenever you serve a first serve like that last one that she hit, I hate to say it, but we used to call it the elbow. Watch this serve now. Very delicate first serve here. Just putting that ball in play. Yeah. It's over and play. But a kill from 5 2 up in the third set is now at 5 all. And extremely unhappy that she didn't slam the door shut. We'll return right after these messages from your local station. Five. He's serving at two love in the second. Oh. Lendl got away with murder there because from around the baseline he attempted a very poor drop shot. Gilbert came in with and took too big a swing and hit up in row 301. It's 15 all. You get in inside that service line, you have a ground stroke, you need to shorten the, the preparation down. You're more interested in accuracy than you are sheer speed. 30, 15. Don't forget that next Sunday is opening day for the National Football League. Full slate of regional action. Many of you will see Coach Buddy Ryan's Philadelphia Eagles take on the Washington Redskins. Buddy hasn't really endeared himself to some of no. his fellow coaches. Check your local listings. All start Sunday, 12:30 Eastern, with the NFL today. 40, 15. He didn't have some very nice things to say about Don Shula. Keeping 15 men in the huddle. And right. I think Brad. 15. Sorry, Jimmy. I think Brad's kind of gotten away from his game plan here a little bit and is trying to make the the shot too good too soon. Maleva leads 6-5 over Dakota Kilch. Long. 
emotions whenever the United States steps into the arena against the Soviet Union. And that's what we're about to see over there in the intimate grandstand. Tim Wilkerson, Asheville, North Carolina, is about to take on the emerging star from the Soviet Union, Andrei Chesnikov. And Tim Ryan and John Newcomb will be there for all that action. Meanwhile, Yvonne Lindell, the top seed, continuing to roll back in the stadium. Let's return you to Pat Summerall. They're going to need to stir up some more seats over there for that match. This one's over. Love, 30. Love, 3. Gilbert and, disgusted with himself now. And Love, 30 as well. In the first set, Gilbert hit six winning volleys and four winning overheads. In the second set, he has zero in those two departments. And that's just what Jimmy said about the change in game plan or not sticking with the game plan. point I also think that the Lindell is is found his form a little bit more now he's hitting the ball much firmer now than he did in the beginning let's go to Brent Musburger Pat we've got a match point Maleva Kota Kilsch has fallen completely apart after not serving for the match there she was able to come back and very McKay it's a very emotional Kota Kilsch who's trying to pull herself back together here Brent, that was one of the only points she's played well in about the last five games. She was leading 5-2. This is Manuela Maleva. It's Deuce. Dakota Kilsch just fought off one match point. Now watch this second serve. If you don't think Dakota Kilsch is having trouble with this second delivery, it is barely making it over the net. It was good, and so Kota Kilsch will be down another match point. Hard to believe. She lost the first set 2-6, then came back strong. She was winning 6-2 and then up 5-2. Great folly again. Amazing when she has to come through, she does. Hughes. Well, a beat Chrissy, as we mentioned, on clay courts. This one of the best clay court players in the world. Back to Deuce. Well, and a fault. Very, uh, the Wilkerson Chesnikoff match to start. Who do you like in that one? I like Tim Wilkerson. Four in the USA. Out of play. Leva with a big opportunity Bandit there. The Nets the forehand, so we now are one point away from a possible tiebreaker. Dakota Kills very smartly got her first serve in there because that second serve Brent looked real shaky. And so Game now out on court 16. Six games over. The tiebreaker. And the winner of this tiebreaker will take on Chris Everett Lloyd in the quarterfinals. Already Steffi Graf has reached that level and she will take on Bonnie Gadusek. Davis says, I know how to volley. Great play. Barry, how does the uh, service rotation for some of the fans who are joining us and don't watch much tennis during the tiebreaker, how do they rotate the services? First point is served, uh, as you just noticed there, Brent, by the server. And then the next, they will alternate. So now, Maleva will be serving twice. And then after six points, they will change sides. This is Kota Kilsch again. swing on that forehand. It's good. Meanwhile, in the stadium, Yvonne Lindell, five love in the second set and rolling. Yvonne has not lost a set yet this year. And in the tiebreaker here, Maleva is up to love. 
let's see if Claudia can start working on that first serve. Good first serve. She follows it in, and that's what she's got to do at this point. And I think she is so nervous on the second serve that she needs to try and take a little off the first serve, get it in. But Leva now will be serving. And well, what a great year she had in 1984. She beat Chrissy, Hanna, Sokova, and Kota Kilsch. Again, Kota Kilsch looking Three, shaky from one, the back court. Maleva. She's still trying to forget about that 5-2 lead that she blew. This is a real family in Bulgaria. The entire family plays. So now Maleva up 4-1. Manuela's mother, Yulia Berberian, played on the recent Federation Cup matches, Brent, after the Bulgarians were ahead. Second serve. Change sides. They've played a total of six points. Look at the agony in Claudia's face. It has been that way ever since she was serving for the match and could not hold her service against Malaya. You know, they talk about body language. If I've ever seen a discouraged player, it's Claudia Cota Kills. Her shoulders are down. She's walking slowly. And Manuela, just the opposite, ready to go. Got that great two-handed passing shot up the line. Six, one, so now Maleva. I think she'll get one of these <laughs> in the mental condition that Claudia Cota Kilsch finds herself in right now. The odds look pretty good, don't they? Six one. set come roaring back in that tiebreaker seven points to one she wins at seven six in the third set and her prize is an appointment with chris everett lloyd in the quarterfinals as maleva advances at the bottom of the draw and you can see that martina navratilova at the top awaits the winner of the jordan schreiber match still to come a little bit later today speaking of action to come chesnikoff and wilkerson getting started we'll be back in a moment out on court 16 with Ann Butler, so let's go to Ann. Manuela, first of all, congratulations. Incredible comeback. You were down in, uh, at 5-2. What lit the fire in the third set? I don't know. I suddenly decided that I have nothing to lose, and what I mean is that I felt well during the whole match. It doesn't matter that I lost the second set and that I was down in the third set. I felt that I was playing well. I just needed a little bit. And I'm glad that a little bit came in the third set at 5-2. All right, now you advance to the quarterfinals. That's one step further than this time last year in the U.S. Open. You have beat Chris Everett Lloyd back in 84. What's your strategy going to be this year? Can you do it again? I think that I'm playing pretty well, but it's always very difficult to play against her. I hope that I will play as well as today, maybe even better, and then... I will think about beating her. All right, well, good luck. Once again, congratulations, Manuela. From Court 16, back to you, Brent. All right, Ann, and let's get back up to the stadium. Vaughn Lindell back at 